This video is for my new friend Rashid in Dubai and anybody else worldwide sending us 111 W111 uh, coupe or cabrio. And um, this is how we're going to pack it, so how best to pack. Okay, so the front seats, as you can see, so now that I have the scene, uh, are done this way. Uh, this customer has done it right, he's put the backs on the outside. It doesn't get any less than that. We have two bundles that way. These long panels here, the guy started to unwrap, but really these long panels should be strapped together and they should have gone in between those two rear seats. Okay, that protects them and that's how the rear seats come face to face and uh, they take up the least amount of room and they protect it themselves. Likewise with this, this kind of sun visors here, for instance, this should have gone in, into this bundle here. Okay, so like that, so we're forming sandwiches to protect these miscellaneous covers that were sank to go like that, okay? And then um, again, this, these are the door panels, but you know, they shouldn't be, in my opinion, to protect the chrome. Okay, so this is good. They put the cappings in there, protected. Um, and if there's chrome finishes on here, then they should be reversed. It should be the backside out and yin and yang. Um, same with these, that could be a part of that bundle there. When they're together in a bundle, we shrink wrap them like this. And then we use what I call, this is polypropylene bagging. This came in from London. This is a right-hand drive, very rare Cabrio uh, V8 280. And this is polypropylene bag available all over the world or some other strong bag. It doesn't have to be this product in particular. In addition, we've asked for the uh, binnacles to be carefully managed. This is how it came. It's uh, okay, it's not great. Uh, I, I, obviously, ideally, the box should be much bigger, uh, at least uh, the height. I haven't opened it up, so I don't know how it's packed, but we're trying to avoid this. This is, this is uh, how they can arrive if they're not packed well. Not sure what's in here yet, so. But the binnacle box could be, could be handled better, that's for sure. And then, Again, if that was to be placed in the sandwich of this, maybe between some cardboard, that might be a better way to do it. If you think of it that way, then it becomes much, it becomes essentially uh, uh, one bundle for the rear seats, uh, the doors, uh, the cushion, the back backrest for the front seats, and then the miscellaneous stuff. The miscellaneous in this case is head, headrest for the, for the 280s only. And this is nicely done. There's the, the armrest for the seats is put between the two rear quarter panels. So again, it's a matter of layering and uh, protecting things and taking up the least amount of room. Um, because all the substrate, all the soft material is being replaced, all the, uh, it's the frames and the wood components. That's all we care about the rest of it. So if it got damaged here in shipping, this panel is being replaced anyway. Does that make sense? Um, you can get it pretty small that way. What we want to not do, especially for air freight, is to overpack and make it oversized because you're playing by the cubic centimeter. So every centimeter counts, and the smaller you make it, the less expensive it is. Um, it's uh, six significantly uh, cheaper uh, when you pack this way. So we want it well packed, but not overpacked. Does that make sense, guys? So uh, hopefully. Um, that will help people uh, send us their W111 coops and cows from around the world.